morning everybody um, we're going to be doing a pound cake now this is my aunt's recipe and i had to do some research as uh, whipped margarine is not available anymore in the stores so what i came up with was I can't believe it's not butter and you're gonna use two-thirds of this container um, you can't just take the margarine sticks and whip it because it has a different volume and all that stuff so <laughs> um, so this is the closest thing I came up to, and I hope it's going to work. Um, I know this has no uh, trans fat, so um, my research said find something that says no trans fat. So this is the closest thing I got, so let's uh, cross our fingers and hopefully this will work. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is put two-thirds of this tub in the mixer. And you're going to get a half a cup of Crisco solid. And you're going to mix this all together. And after mine's mixed, I'll come back. It's just my mixer is so loud. Okay, after all that's creamed, you're going to take three cups of sugar. And you'll blend this in. Break your sides. And then you're going to need five eggs. You're going to put them in one at a time and mix it. And I've let mine sit out for about a half hour, everything. Okay, I'm going to add my eggs and I'll be back. Okay, once that's all blended, you're going to take three cups of cake flour and put it in a bowl.
powder. And whisk that up. Then you need a cup of milk. Okay. Now you're going to alternate your milk and your cake flour. And then I'll be back and scrape your bowl about halfway through. Okay, now you're gonna add your flavoring. So it's one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. teaspoon of lemon and a half teaspoon of almond. And then just mix this up for like 15 seconds and I'll be back. Okay, then you're going to get a toothpick pan. And she used wax paper, so that's what we're going to do. And she cut a little hole in the middle. You're going to grease the pan and the tube. and put it on the tube and press down and then pull it back up and flip it over and then place it in your pan and try to get your paper very close to the edge, kind of just pat it down. Now you're going to pour in your batting, or your batter. Just like that. And this is going in a cold oven. But your temperature is going to be, I upped it some. Um, it's going to be 325 and it's for about an hour and a half. 
and just um, do your skewer check. Be sure everything comes out dry after an hour and a half. tap on the table a couple times to get the air out. Okay. Now this is going on the low rack. Let me get to my oven here. So I've got to take out one of my racks. Place your cake in. Set your temp to 325. And start and timer for about an hour and a half. And after an hour and a half, just take a skewer. Check to be sure that it comes out dry. If not, um, bake it probably for another 15 minutes. And um, I'll be back when this is done. I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to get the collard greens ready. Okay, my buzzer just went off for the pound cake. And do the test. But she used to put it upside down on a bottle, but my bottle's too big. So we'll just take a cookie rack and we will flip it over on that. Okay, it popped out. When it cools, just start taking your wax paper off. Um, I might be able to get it now. just let it cool and then you can just wrap it up and um, you could wrap it up in foil or if you have a cake pin and that's it and yes it does taste like it <laughs> y'all have a good day thanks for subscribing um, watching the video, liking, commenting, and I'll be back tonight with the greens on the stove right now. Yeah, I'll have a good afternoon.